is it a mistake for LeVar Ball to sell the shoe <laughs> for so much? Let me defend LeVar Ball. Please do. Again on this show. Years ago, I know this, I have an intimate uh, relationship with this industry. Gray Goose came out with vodka. And vodka's mostly tasteless. You just distill the taste right out of it. And they doubled the price. There was no real reason. It wasn't worth the price. Mm. You used to be able to buy a pint of vodka for 19 bucks. And Grey Goose said, 38. And it caught fire. And Starbucks, part of their appeal is, this is where smart people, this is where smart people, they pull in their BMW. I think Pete's coffee is better than Starbucks. I think Starbucks is about the fourth best coffee in the market. <laughs> but when you, go to, when you go to Starbucks, you feel smarter. Take a book. You read at Starbucks. <laughs> Academic at Starbucks. Some of this stuff is positioning himself way on top of the mountain. And I like what he says there. You want to sell a $60 shoe, knock yourself out. It's not going to be my shoe. I'm telling you, he may swing and miss, but I know where he's going. And Grey Goose and Starbucks have LeVar as their front man, the most polarizing helicopter parent we've seen. What's wrong with polarizing That's in our right. business? That's actually good. What's wrong with polarizing? I like polarizing. I get I work People with you. People like you're, Starbucks. You're, you're polarizing. <laughs> Again, I ain't selling $500 shoes. You're selling I'm not selling hat. $40 bottles of Grey Goose. I'm not selling coffee. Again, LeVar Ball, a could great you, talk show host. Can you acknowledge, though? Not a business. Can man. you acknowledge? Nobody else's shoes getting talked about. I don't even know what Ben Simmons wears. The word he, you're looking for is exclusive. You guys yes. remember when Facebook came out a decade ago? You had to have a .edu to get into Facebook. Otherwise, you're on the you're on the outside. It was cool. Were you I, upset by that? I was a little I was bit upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what When I first moved to New York City, you know, you get there, you want to go to the clubs, see the models and the celebrities. Those are exclusive joints. They got a red velvet rope outside. They're exclusive. I didn't see any supermodels with these shoes. These shoes are exclusive. You're oh. not going to get them unless you're ponying up $500. I, like. I, I'm with you guys on this. I, I'm with Kyle and, like, he, he, and he said it. He made a great call. He said, nobody questions Prada. Why is that so expensive? Why is Gucci so expensive? Yeah. As long as the quality of the shoe is legitimate, and I don't know what Python microfiber and it's, uh, gel soles and all cool. that means, but <laughs> as long as it's legitimate product, then I'm fine with him pricing it the way, the way he has. He, 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 it's very interesting. Why is Prada five hundred dollars? When you, I mean, the women's shoe industry, Louboutin, purses. I've, I've, okay, yeah. that's fine. There you go. But but I mean, what makes a Kardashian pro? Is it because they can act? Why are Kardashian let me, let me, purses? Let me tell you about. I will stick with Louboutin shoe. Okay. Guys like me, idiots, buy them for women. We're not buying these $500 tennis shoes oh, for any women. But there's a lot of idiotic people who buy $190 shoes for their kids because Derek Rose wore them. The whole consumption of shoes is sort of at times idiotic. Well, and, and I look, I love that Elijah Wine had a shoe for $35, yeah. Shaq for $60, Marbury for $15. But those shoes did not take off. With the kids, they wanted to buy them to save them from spending so much money. Those kids want the Jordans for $200 or the LeBrons for 180 or whatever it may be. Th this is a smart move. And I also, and I think you would like this, on an African-American level, isn't this what a lot of people in our community have said they wished a Michael Jordan would have done? Craig Hodges was came trying out with to some $500 came, shoe. came up with his own shoe, his own brand. And I don't know if they're going to follow through, but Lonzo Ball's commercial, his video commercial, he said, we're going to hire people we want to put people to work. We want to have our own brand. Like, if they follow through with that, I love it. I've been dying for a black player to say, I'm not going to just make money for Nike or Adidas or Converse or right. whoever. Make it for We're yourself. We're have our own. So if this works, it could be great. I would be for what you're talking about if they had a strategic plan. LeVar Ball as the front man does not instill confidence in you me. You didn't like how he got dressed up now? He's ditched the sweats yeah, that's and the now he's in a That is the That is business I did. Now, that right? is the one thing I like. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He has a plan. I, 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 no, he... I he, can't believe I'm defending But hold on, Jason. Well, this food. does look like they have a plan. I mean, Nike, Adidas, they offered, what, $10 million over five years? Right. A week later... They got you their shoe. This is what it's going to look like. Yep. We're coming out. It Come seems November. like they have a plan. Yeah. Come November. He's, you riding, can get... he's riding your $500 for seven months. You're not yeah. getting the shoe till November. It's like those uh, seat that's, licenses, that's personal seat life. licenses <laughs> at a stadium or whatever. I don't believe in the strategy. Pay now, $500 shoes later. 
look, I used to buy clothes on layaway and furniture on layaway. We did that <laughs> <laughs> growing up. We was poor. I ain't buying five hundred dollars. You suit. either get python microfiber or you don't <laughs> you don't get it some of us do <laughs>